okay so there are two ways to add a user to role can someone able to tell me how we can add a user to role we can directly go to role add the user okay we can also add a group who the users are belong to to the role directly right these are the two ways agree everyone yes sir now the most important question interview question will come here is okay <coughs> uh why we need to add users to role via group <coughs> see both ways it will allow okay it, it doesn't mean like we it, we can't do it we can do but why we shouldn't do why we should do that is the question and even this is a best practice also adding users to role via group is the best practice okay but why this is a question okay so there is something called manageability right so who manages this group part so let's say yesterday we created a group called azure support consider like this and we added 10 members to this okay here we have 10 members okay this azure support need three roles and group can be added to multiple roles also shila uh, someone added na sindhu gar added right five five roles he added right so now that means if we want to do this one normally user by user 30 times you have to add agree yes or no yes sir Mm-hmm. second thing is someone told like uh, group if we can have a group it is easy to handle so instead of 30 times we add this group to roll three times that is one thing okay this is the simplest maybe flexible thing it will give some flexibility but the the, uh, the strongest point here is okay uh, let's say again five people joined here okay five new people joined to the same 10 people 5 plus plus 5 okay minus 2 so one in one month this is this change happened okay so who will do this part again adding users to group or role who will do user admin hmm. so instead of sending this particular instead of sending this particular addition or subtraction to the user like uh, group additions group subtraction to platform support team the group manager will be having access once we create a group okay and once we select someone as a group manager right when when once we select someone as a group manager the group manager will have access to administrate his group okay so now whoever are the manager of this particular azure support team he will add he will remove the people automatically the roles will be removed also will be added right so it is controlling at the initial level it no need to send to platform support team service no platform support team right you got this point yes and yeah. even if they send to service no platform team also we do the same but we restrict sending this kind of tickets to us why because uh, this may be see when i said now we restrict why we restrict is service no platform team have a lot of activities to do not only adding user adding group still we do this okay but there are many many plenty of activities we will be doing it we are we are maintaining a big platform of 1 lakh users so that means we will be having so many other stuff also okay so we this is this will comes under l1 support level 1 it's not that much bigger thing to do na so maybe we will uh, stop from group manager level itself so that they can do it if we get it we also can do it but they can do directly so the main answer here is administration okay group administration or user administration when you add via groups the flexibility is very controlled see whenever now if five people add it two people removed okay then what we need to do if we don't add via group we need to go to each three roles okay first we need to remove these two people then second we need to add these five people 
let's say this group is assigned with uh, 10 roles means no no sorry sorry uh, these 10 people like the list of people are associated with 10 10 group 10 roles then we need to open all 10 roles then add one remove two something something so every time you need to do but if you do from group level the group manager will uh, can add or remove automatically whenever he add or remove the roles also will be inherited the inherited the word inherited in it means inheritance means taking the similarities okay he inherited his father means he is same like his father so here also he, he the roles are inheriting the groups the members are inheriting from his parent whatever the parents is having the properties so what is the property this group is having here the group is having a property of containing three roles so the associated members of the group also will be inherited with the same set of roles this question is clear one more point my last point maybe there is a role okay like app app managers maybe apm planner there is a apm application okay and the application is too costly okay and who can access this application is apm planner role uh, apm means application portfolio management it's a bigger application okay now one license is maybe 25 lakhs okay we only have two licenses okay consider like and this role is associated with okay group called apm uh, apm support group okay now okay someone raised a ticket selecting this group or someone send you a mail saying please add two people to this group can we directly add if we add na, that means mm -hmm. service now will come up and say okay we, you, we are very much welcome okay please pay for this resource also they are very much fine okay but they will they will politely say okay we got new two more two more customers okay you need to pay this so when we are adding a member to group we need to keep these things in mind whether the particular group is associated with any application an application which is chargeable those things and all we will be lending it now it is very hard because you don't know but going forward we will be seeing okay but this is the reason behind the group admin user administration when you are saying user administration means all these things are involved in real time right nama clear yeah okay that makes sense now this point is makes sense right mm -hmm. yes and yeah. so i think that's it for today